Now, Channel 8 Eyewitness News, Sports. The Nebraska baseball team is coming off a series sweep of Northwestern. The Huskers taking one game away from league play tonight. The Big Red at Kansas State, they fell to the Wildcats in Manhattan just one week ago. Bottom third, K-State up 1-0, adding to it. Tanner Witt turns on one and cranks it. It's a solo home run to left. Cats up 2-0. Bottom fourth now, 3-0 K-State. It's Witt again with an RBI single. He had himself quite the ball game, making it 4-0 K-State. Top fifth, NU gets on the board. Tanner Lubach hits the third. Cash Kalkowski scores on the fielder's choice. That would, however, be the low run for the Big Red in the game. Bottom fifth, Tanner Lubach appears to take a pitch off his neck area. He still somehow throws it to second base, but goes down in obvious pain. He would end up leaving the game. No official word on his injury. Now, 6-1 in the seventh, Witt yet again drives in two more. He ended the day 5-5 five of five with four RBI. Nebraska ending up with just five hits. They gave up 14 on the day as K-State goes on to win it 9-1. A good one on the high school level tonight, Pius in Northeast. Rockets scored one in the first, pick it up in the fourth. Still one nothing. Cole Felber drives in the tying run with a single to left, but is gunned down, trying to stretch it to a double. Game tied at one. Same score in the sixth, runner on for Ryan Kortum. Who hits, who's going to hit a sack fly to center here. Bolts adding two more in the seventh. They go on to win 4-1. Southwest taking on North Star over at Sherman Field. Bottom first, runners on the corners with two out. Brooke Bowles finds the gap in right center. Adam Claypool and Alexander Krakmeyer come around to score, making it 2-0 Gators. Next batter, Alex Caruso slaps it into shallow center to give North Star a three-run lead, and that would be all they need. North Star goes to beat Southwest 3-1. Lindsey Moore and Jordan Hooper have been named Honorable Mention All-Americans from the Associated Press. It's the first time two Huskers have been named All-Americans in the same season. The Nebraska women's gymnastic team is busy preparing for this weekend's regionals in West Virginia. The top two teams from there will qualify for, qualify for nationals in Nebraska as the two seed is seen as one of the favorites. Doing so would be the 22nd time in program history the Big Red will compete for a national title. And coming off their third consecutive conference crown just a week ago, the Huskers are excited for what's to come. I mean, we're excited. I, I, I feel like we've got a, a, a team that can go in there and, and uh, have a great meet. And that's all we need to do. In a perfect world, Michigan and Nebraska should be moving on to nationals. There's always pressure that goes along with it, but we know that as long as we do the same thing that we do and practice every day and just go out and perform, and then we know everything's going to be okay. I think that we just need to go in there and have fun and do, the, do what we know how to do, and we'll be fine. Just excited, you know, to go out and do what we've been doing all year. It's just another meet regionals, and we're excited to make it to nationals. With spring now here, the winter sports are close to coming to an end. The Lincoln Stars took Tuesday off as they count down the final four games of the regular season. The flu has slowed a couple players down and Mike McKee may miss the rest of the regular season with a broken wrist. Even coach Chad Johnson tweaked his ankle while running. Still, the Stars coach is confident his team will be ready come the weekend. Yeah, it, it much needed break. Uh, we practiced yesterday on Monday and uh, guys battled hard this weekend. We got a lot of bumps and bruises like a lot of teams do. Uh, we got uh, a couple guys that are a little bit under the weather right now, so give them today off and, and refresh mentally, physically, and, and uh, I would think that they'd feel pretty good But come weekend. You we should be banged up right now. Uh, guys have been playing hard. They're, they're a pretty honest group of guys, uh, but it's something that you play through. You see a lot of injuries in the NHL this time of year. It is a grind of a schedule, but mentally I think these guys are really sharp and focused right now. We finish up on the pitch. Southeast and Lincoln High boys scoreless in the 19th minute here. High keeper Eli Gibson keeps it that way with a knife save off the shot for the goal. Jumping to the 28th minute now. Knights on a breakaway. Trey Beeman beats the keeper. A nice shot there to get the goal. The Knights go on to win it 3-1. And that's going to do it for sports. We'll be back to wrap things up after the break.